Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jesse here with JLS Comics. Welcome either back to my channel or welcome to it if this is your first time stopping by. Yeah, nice to see you. Um, you know, let me know down below that you stopped by. I'd say hi. Be happy to talk with you. Um, so this is uh, the second part of my um, how-to videos. This is, um, the first one was uh, one that I did just last week and it was about how to uh, buy comic books on eBay. Um, in three easy steps. I hope uh, you got some good tips on that. So today I wanted to talk about basically how to buy comic books on a budget. So that's what I'm going to um, talk to you briefly about. And I broke it up into five different parts, okay? Um, so we'll get into it uh, here just about right now. Part one, LCS. Okay, so when you go to your, your LCS, your local comic shop, my recommendation to you is to set up, if you know some books you wanna get, set up a pull list or a subscription box. Um, typically the comic book shops will offer you, um, with that service, also a somewhere between 10 and 15% um, discount off your list. Um, so that, that, that right there is a pretty significant discount if you're getting, you know, a lot of them will say a minimum of, say, 10 books. So 10 to 15 off of that, uh, that definitely adds up pretty quickly. Um, and it also helps ensure that you're going to get uh, the books that you want. Um, some of them actually, you know, bags and boards also add up. So some of them offer free bags and boards with those. Um, and uh, I know some shops, they'll do, you know, like raffles, for example, on some of the incentive variants that cost a bit more and you get those at cover price or, um, you know, other variants. They have certain programs for those to, to help buy those. And those definitely uh, being a lot more than, say, the, the $4 average cover price, that can add up quite a bit as well. Um, also with your local comic shop, they have seasonal sales. Um, you know, if they're getting rid of uh, some stock to make room for some new stuff or around the holidays, definitely um, times to look out for things. Um, special events too, keep, keep track of your local comic shop on their social media if you're not already. And uh, you may see uh, an event coming up, you know, like say like a Batman v Superman event and all the Batman or Superman stuff might be on sale for example. So it's worth checking out there. And then also dollar bins. A lot of the comic shops have some uh, dollar bins that are really good to, you know, just because it's in the dollar bin doesn't mean it's a bad book. So, you know, worth checking out there, okay? So uh, let me know how that works out for you. Number two. Another way to buy books on a budget, comic books that is, is online. Um, there's a particular website that I like, and there, there's quite a few out there. There's Discount Comic Book Shop, DCBS.com, a um, bunch of different, you know, forums and, and areas, uh, you know, particular websites that will um, offer you a good service, a good discount. Um, one that I like, oops, I'm shaking the camera here, is Midtown Comics. They typically offer, you know, if you order a week out, uh, about a 15% discount. They have uh, previews orders as well, which, uh, you know, they use uh, previews or previewworld.com um, to get on, you know, a month or two in advance. And on those, you can get a 35% discount on some books. So that adds up quite a bit too. Um, one thing I like about ordering from them in combination with the local comic shop is you can actually, because you can order uh, a month or two months out in advance, you can actually stagger um, the books that you're ordering and help distribute the, the cost of it a little bit more um, evenly over that couple months time period. Um, another one that I like quite a bit is Comixology. They offer, I have about 40 books in my account on Comixology and I, they've all been free. They're all free books. Um, so I highly recommend checking that out or Marvel Unlimited. Um, they, um, you know, like I said, free books there. Um, 99 cents a lot of times too for the digital ones. So that's a great way to check out, uh, you know, some books online for a really good price. Uh, another one is Amazon.com. You can find some really good stuff on there. And if you have Amazon Prime, um, that is something, you know, that you can get free shipping for. So uh, another one good uh, there for you. Number three. Another great way to buy books on a budget is through trade waiting, it's called. You know, you wait a couple months, the, the single issues, the floppies come out, but if you wait, you can buy it in a trade paperback or collected form. 
um, of those, and it's typically about five to seven issues per book. And those trades range anywhere for those five to seven books collected into one, and you are from $9.99 to say $24.99. So you're actually getting a little bit of savings there as well. Um, so the trade-off there is you, you are saving, but you do have to wait, you know, that extra couple of months. So if it's a story that you really want to read right, right away, really quickly, character, whatever it is, uh, maybe go to your local comic shop and do those couple of strategies we just talked about. But if it's something that maybe you can afford to wait a little bit on, um, you know, definitely the, um, you know, trade trade waiting strategy works there. Um, and then you have stores like Barnes & Noble, for example, that very frequently, I don't know if it's a permanent thing, but it's so frequent it might as well be, um, on the trades, buy two, get one free. So that is a huge savings there, okay? Um, and then another uh, place is uh, the library. Um, you can actually borrow uh, the trades from them um, to read for free. Um, they have their shared library program, so if that book, that library I mean right next to you doesn't have it, they can order it from someone else in their network and have it sent to that store and you can pick it up there, read it, return it. As long as you return it on time, there won't be any money, but you know what, if there's a late fee, that's on you. All right, four. So the fourth way to buy books on a budget is actually uh, through a network of friends. Um, you know, whether you're on Facebook, if it's someone that, you know, lives down the street from you, if it's somebody that, you know, you, you met at a, at a local convention or one of those store events we were talking about. Um, it's a good way to, you know, share some strategies with friends, talk about things, maybe even uh, share or trade some books or buy a little couple books from, from them. Um, you know, it, it, it's really important to, to have those networks and you can get some good discounts there. Um, and then also, you know, you get your old your old books and you, you can sell stuff, whether it's to those friends, you know, give them a discount because they're your friends, or you sell them to the local comic shop or online at various websites. Um, that is a way that you can raise some extra money to pay for the books that you want. So if you're on a budget, you can sell some older stuff. And uh, like uh, my good friend uh, Biggie's Comics likes to say, it is a hobby that um, helps pay for itself. Um, that's a very good adage, and uh, I'm going to use it here. So thank you for that. All right. Five. The fifth and final uh, strategy that I'm going to tell you about is actually going to flea markets or yard sales or estate sales. Um, you could find some great lots. A lot of times those people, maybe it's an old collection they were just trying to get rid of from their childhood, or it's somebody that... Um, they broke up with and they're trying to get rid of all their crap or you know a lot of times they don't know what they have um, so it, it, it in addition to maybe going out with those you know friends of yours that you know you're selling the books or trading the books with um, go flea market shopping you can find some amazing deals and if you look around in the the YouTube comic book community a lot of people who have found some really amazing impressive deals have done that at flea markets um, so if you have those around you, I highly recommend checking those out, okay? So there you have it. There's my five tips on buying comic books on a budget. Let me know what you think down below. If you have any strategies that you like, uh, we can talk about those. It'd be cool to share for some other people who may be reading, uh, you know, the comments while watching the video. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you think I can have some improvement, let me know down below. And maybe if you really feel strongly about it, by all means, thumbs down. Um, I have my video from last week about how to buy comic books on eBay. That's something that we talked about briefly here, but if you want to know more specifics about that, uh, go definitely check out that video and um, we, we can uh, you know, take it from there. Um, next week I'll have another how-to video. Um, if you have any ideas or any things that you want to know how to do uh, relating to comic books or the comic book uh, world, uh, let me know. We can definitely add it to the list of uh, all the up upcoming uh, how-tos that I'll be doing. Um, I will be uh, very soon interviewing uh, a local comic shop owner about how to start a comic book shop. So that will be included in this series. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask, uh, by all means let me know and I'll add it to that list of uh, the great questions that I have compiled so far from some other people. So look forward to that coming up. Um, and there we have it. Um, this is Jesse with JLS Comics, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.